I saw this Eloquii dress in an ad five days ago and it said coming soon. And I have been checking their site every day. <laughs> they had a holiday collection that got released this weekend. I haven't seen it. I even commented on this ad and I was like, when is soon? Why would you even want this dress at all? I mean, couldn't you just buy a regular black dress and just bedazzle it with rhinestones? I feel like that would be the best outcome there. Uh, why would you want to look like a disco ball from Saturday Night Fever? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Sometimes I look upon things and I think, what is the purpose of this thing? Why do you guys want this so bad? Like for me personally, I wear my clothes until they literally disintegrate off my body. Like literally, I'll have them and they'll literally just and they'll turn into dust right on my body. It's really uncomfortable, especially if you're, you know, in public places. But what I'm saying is, like, why would you even want this dress? I don't even think it looks that good. Can somebody let me know down below what they think about this dress, please? Because I need this. Do I have anything to wear this to? No. I exactly. So why the fuck are you even buying this shit? Like, what is even the purpose? Like, for me... Um, recently, actually, I was out somewhere and somebody was like, oh my God, like, do you plan on going on vacation? Like, do you plan on doing something sometime soon? And I'm just like, no, no, I don't plan on doing any of that stuff. I have no interest in going outside and going to other countries or going to another place and investigating and using my eye sockets to ingest other places. I don't care about that stuff. Okay. Uh, now a lot of people might, a lot of people might like to travel and, you know, marinate themselves and the culture and the surroundings areas of those, those places. Not for me, not for me. So when I hear people go, I need to buy this dress, or I need to do this, I need to do that, and then it just sits in their closet perpetually for months, if not years at a time, why did you buy it then? You knew you were never going to use this shit. It's just like you're just sitting there for years and years and years and years doing nothing. And eventually, uh, you wear it that one day and everybody makes fun of you because it doesn't look good. I don't. Do I want to buy it? Yes. Will I try to find something to wear it to? Probably. I just, it's really pretty and it's shiny and sparkly and very much like every- Is that all it takes? Is it just shiny and sparkly? Thing that is me. Well, I don't know necessarily if that's true. Shiny and sparkly? Are we talking about the sweat glistening off your face? Are we talking about the body water that's coming out of your armpits? That's glistening in the, in the, in the sunshine? Maybe. But I, did I miss the drop already? It was only five days ago and I swear I've been checking every day. And I feel like I see similar dresses that are on their site, especially the holiday collection has a lot of like sparkly dresses in it, but not this exact one. Cool. Where is it? Please, please tell me. When not for you. You're not getting it. Aha. Aha. You're never getting a dress that you want to wear that you can't wear anyway. Aha. Too big. Can't fit in it. It's happening. This is the problem. The entire point of your reaction is to say, woe is me. This shop is doing all they can to create, to cater to me, but not all of these other companies. So I'm gonna go, yeah, this is exactly true, dude. This is exactly true. This woman has an, for some reason, all right? I mean, granted, she 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 made a response video on me and she said that I was, um, I don't know, I guess she said I was stupid or, what did she say I was? Like a bad person, I was just really, really mean. Here's the thing, right? For me personally, I know that a lot of people may not like me because I come off a little bit rude, I come off a little bit blunt, I come off a little bit uh, bold on a lot of things I say. I'm not afraid really to say anything at all. Um, and I fully acknowledge that a lot of people will view that and go, mm, not for me. I'm totally fine with that. I, I, I don't care necessarily. I don't want to like change who I am to cater to more people um, because ultimately I feel like I would have to be putting on a big facade and I feel like that's not really sustainable for a long period of time. So I would prefer to just be who the person I am and everybody just think that I'm an asshole regardless of whether or not I am actually an asshole, which I am po totally okay with being an asshole. Um, I've really acknowledged this recently when I've talked to a lot of people and I've heard like, oh my God, you're just so like, why are you so mean? Like, why are you so mean to me? Like, why are you so rude? And I'm just saying like, what are you talking about? Like, stop being a pussy. Like, you know, pick yourself up, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, battle me, please, God. Um, but I guess I'm just an asshole and I'm okay with that. But for somebody like this, um, that is their entire, their entire uh, presence online. If me being an asshole is my entire presence being online, their entire presence is literally just victimizing themselves and always making problems out of literally anything that they possibly can, even if the, the problem is not actually their problem. And I see it all the time on their channel. All they want to do is complain that, oh, the clothes here main, the, the clothes here don't fit me adequately. And if they do, they don't have the right clothes. They don't fit me properly. And they, 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 they don't fit everybody properly. You're never going to get something that fits everybody properly. It's just like, it's ridiculous to assume that everything has to fit everybody. You all think just because a brand 
decides to stock plus size clothing that even when they make an ad that is very tone deaf and could have been done better, we're supposed to be like, yay, we can ignore the ignorance because you carry our sizes. We're just supposed to be grateful for anything that's thrown our way. We're not supposed to criticize anything ever. No, you could totally criticize whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want to. I think that you're really ignoring the main point, though. Uh, you complain about this all the time. And even when companies do cater to you, you still complain to these companies. Why would these companies even care about you at that point? Like, if you're sitting here and you're always talking shit about my company, well, then fuck you. I don't want I don't want. I don't want you in my company anymore. You're, you're always being terrible and you're always talking shit about me, even when I try to accompany you in it. And you guys always want to get your way, but sometimes it's not sustainable to get your way. Sometimes you guys are too big to get your way. You complain about it too often. By the way, if you guys don't know, this is in reference to her Halloween costume video that she made a few weeks ago or like a week ago where she was saying that Halloween costumes are not big enough for people and that even when stores are carrying these quote unquote larger size Halloween costumes, they're not adequate enough and they don't have enough of them and you know, all this other bullshit. And it's just like, eh, what are you fucking talking about, bro? Like you, you consistently, I mean, you can go back and watch the, the last Mighty Murphin fash uh, video that we did. But that's basically the sums up of the video. They were complaining that the, the Halloween costumes weren't good enough and there's not enough of them, even though the guy made some pretty good claims. And he was saying, like, listen, we would love to make more Halloween costumes for fat people, but it's just not sustainable. Like, it's very, very hard because we tend to order bulk orders, which is true. Like, if you're ordering a lot of stuff, um, you want to fit a lot of people. And it just turns out that when you're very, very fat, you're not really walking into establishments to find Halloween costumes. Or in general, you're not really walking into establishments to find clothes. So... The bulk ordering to reduce the overall cost of the item um, just kind of goes out the out the window because if you order a ton of stuff and then it just turns out that nobody comes in, then you're just sitting on product for potentially years at a time that's never going to sell. And some things are seasonal, and some things are also um, you know bought on a whim. You know what's what's really really cool right now is not going to be what's really really cool in five years. So you have to really really hone in on what you're going to buy. But Mighty Murphy and Fash here kind of deduced that that wasn't just, that was fucked up and that, uh, you know, fat people should get what they want. And, you know, being being plus size and shouldn't be a, a, a problem for people. And, and they should just be creating this stuff regardless of how much it costs and how much it might like tank their business, which is really, really beautiful, by the way. I really love when people just say a whole bunch of hogwash shit because they feel like a company should do something, which is really, really fucked up because that company actually does have plus size clothing, but they just can't do it to the same variety that another big box store might be able to. Yeah, fucked up. Way. We're not supposed to criticize anything. Ever. You can criticize it, but you're literally criticizing it even though they literally have it. And they're telling you why they can't do it. And that's like when you do that, people look at that and they go, are you, you're so entitled. You're so incredibly entitled to think that you just deserve everything. Even though this company perfectly went out of their way. They didn't have to. They went out of their way to tell you why they can't and why it's not sustainable for them. And you still critique them. Like what can they do at this point, dude? At this point, they might as well just say, fuck you. We're not going to carry any plus size. Ever whitening strips whitening strips that's all i'm gonna say okay they're they're going on amazon I, you could probably find them on sale some other place or whatever dude um i think it's like a, a two week two week thing that you put them on his teeth i know that a lot of people are, are concerned about the sensitivity or whatever um plaque on the teeth not the best i'm gonna keep it a buck Oof. that's not how it works Sure, you can complain about whatever you want, but when people see you complaining about something so ridiculous, like the things you're complaining about, you lose audience. Because people are like, what are you complaining about at that point? That's like somebody complaining that they got not enough food, even though they're sitting on a buffet. Like, what are you talking about, bro? You got what you wanted. The issue is that you're not going to get exactly what you want, which is not going to be, that's not a, no matter what you're talking about in life, you're never going to get exactly what you want. Because guess what? You have to cater to as many people as possible. So when you're buying a car, maybe the seats are not exactly what you want. Maybe the color is not exactly what you want. Maybe the engine is not exactly what you want. There's a whole bunch of stuff about this car that you don't exactly want. But overall, it's what you want. And the same thing could be said here. Now, when you go into that Halloween costume store... And you're looking around, you're going, I want to dress up as, let's say, I don't fucking know. Let's say you want to dress up as Angelina Jolie from Salt, right? That's a great character. I love that movie. But you can't because you're fat and you're upset that the only Halloween costumes that they have are like the, the squid bitch from The Little Mermaid. I don't know what her name was, but that, that's the only one you got. What do you want? Like, how do you? It's there. There's Halloween costumes for you at your size, but you're upset that there's not enough, which is crazy. You're in a different size category. 
no matter what you do in your life, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to do almost anything. Now, I don't know why you would expect that to be different on a Halloween costume selection or in buying clothes in general. It's ridiculous. Like I said, because you all really cannot. And I really hate that this person is talking to people in a condescending way as well. J just assume that everybody is on your level. You're not smarter than anybody, and obviously you're not uh, because you didn't ch you didn't pick up the time to talk to me on. You know, it's it's really it's real interesting how so many people can you know comment on your shit and make videos on you, but yet they never want to nut up to you know get on a, a Discord call and have a a conversation. Just like sit back and listen and take in. You're assuming that I'm not listening. I, I, that's. Here's the thing, okay? I'm a big fan of matching energy. I really am. And I really hate it when people just assume things or they'll just say something and they'll imply that you're doing something because the implication here is that you're not actually listening and you don't have the you don't have the mental capacity to fully register what this person is saying. And it's really weird too because like a lot of people watched that video and came to the same conclusion. Here's the thing. If the majority of people watched that video and they all came to the same conclusion and somehow you thought you were in the right, you're not in the right. You're the stupid one there. And I love it when people sit there and they try to imply shit because I'll come at your fucking throat. I have no problem if somebody implies, because I'm not stupid. I know what you're trying to imply. I'm perfectly willing to get down in the mud and, and talk to you to the same degree that you're going to talk to me. No issue at all. The entire content, I understand that that video was made with good intentions. But intent does not equal impact. The impact, as you could see from people in my comments, was that they were reinforcing stereotypes. What are the stereotypes you're reinforcing? It's harder to make clothes for plus size people. That's true. It's very difficult to cater towards you guys. It could have been worded better. So the fuck what? Your entire life could have been worded better. What the fuck are you talking? I hate it. I hate it so bad when people say, use the proper terms. And you know what? That's fine. You could totally use the proper terms when you're talking to a fucking five-year-old. Makes sense, right? Makes sense. You're talking to a five-year-old. I do do, um, I do like, I do like it with Bob. Does it give me fruit roll-ups? And I think that's pretty bad. I don't want, I want, I don't want to eat meatloaf tonight. I want to eat fruit roll-ups. Obvious. Makes sense, right? But you have to sit there and you have to explain it to him. You're not going to sit there and go, listen, you fucking terrible, disgusting human being. You snot, snot covered, disgusting human being. Your fucking mom is a whore. Like, you're not going to say that obviously right but you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna try you're gonna try to get down on his level and you're gonna try to explain it to him because he's a child right but being an adult what are you talking about bro like that was worded in the best possible way to top it off that person literally went through how they why they couldn't do it why it wasn't sustainable for them and the reasons why these things were occurring and you're talking about some it could have been worded better everything in that word everything in general could be worded better everything but that doesn't matter because we are not we're not perfect human beings we're not going to be able to word everything perfectly. So what's the point of saying it could have been worded better as like a grandiose, oh, well, even though everybody's saying I'm wrong, all I'm saying is it could have been worded better. Okay, the fuck, bro? It's like, what are we even talking about at this point? Semantics, bro. That's all I was saying. That's it. That was the whole, the whole critique. But it's such a dumb critique to be like, oh, this video, even though it's explaining everything perfectly and it makes a lot of sense, it could be worded correctly. You're arguing on such an arbitrary line right now. It's such, it's such a disgusting way of, like, you're not trying to admit, I get it. You're not trying to admit that you were wrong. I get that. I totally understand that. But it's such a bitch tactic to sit there and say, oh, even though I'm wrong, which you're not acknowledging, by the way, which you should because you obviously should. You're, you're not acknowledging you're wrong, but instead what you're doing is you're trying to backpedal and you're trying to push the goalpost back, which is like a manipulation tactic through and through. Instead of somebody acknowledging what they did, it's consistently always pivot and push back, pivot and push back, pivot and push back. This person is never going to acknowledge why they were wrong, if they were wrong, because in their mind, they can't be wrong. How can I be wrong? I'm fighting for social justice. I'm fighting for fat acceptance. I'm fighting for fat people's equality, which is like, fine. But like, dude, you were wrong on this. This is a bad take but they're never gonna admit that, which is terrible. I don't know why anybody would even watch this individual if they're never gonna take accountability. It could have been worded better. So what the fuck what, dude? So the fuck what? So the fuck what, bro? This video could have been worded better. You could have literally worded this video and said, you know what, I caught an L today. It is what it is. I was wrong, guys, I was wrong. You guys got that, it is what it is. It's okay, we all take L's every once in a while, um, but I was wrong, it is what it is. So you could have worded this correctly. They could have consulted a plus size person. I don't know why, okay. I don't know why we need to consult a plus size individual about 
a video discussing the fact that we can't accommodate all plus sizes because it's not sustainable for our business and we can't really do that on a large scale which would like why would we need to consult a fat person about that like hey dude listen um we have a whole bunch of problems with our company when it comes to buying plus size clothing it just doesn't make sense overall uh, we just wanted to talk to you about literally nothing. It doesn't, we don't need to talk to you at all because guess what? Nothing this fat person is going to say is going to actually change anything about our business and how it operates. Why does it matter that you talk to a fucking fat person? What the fuck is that fat person going to do? Hmm? What can they do? Nothing. Literally nothing. And by the way, when they say talk to a fat person, they're they're talking about somebody that believes what they believe because most fat people want to lose weight. Most fat people do not want to be fat. And it could have been worded better. Shut up. I'm not going to kiss someone's ass just because they carry my size. Nobody's asking you to kiss anybody's ass. You just, you're just, you're just terrible. Like this is such a terrible, this is a bad take. And you're trying to double, triple down right now on an arena that you lost multiple times. And it's, it's just giving insecure. It's giving stupidity. It's giving, I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. And I can never admit that I'm wrong. I can critique them. I'm you can. You can. That's not the problem. Your critique, it doesn't make sense. That's the problem. You can critique whoever you want to, but if it doesn't make sense, then what's the point of doing it? Kiss someone's ass just because they carry my size. I can critique them. I'm allowed to do that. Do it. So what a what a dog shit ass video, bro. Holy shit. The whole video that you made was literally just sums up to, I can do whatever I want. Even though I'm wrong, I'm not going to admit that I'm wrong. And I'm just going to say that I can, what I did was justified. What a cop. What a complete fucking cop, bro. That's not the strong stance. The strong stance would have been, if you really, if you really believe what the fuck you said, then you should have said, I did nothing wrong. My stances are completely accurate. Um, regardless of what anybody says, I know that I'm right. You should have said that instead of just saying, well, all I'm saying is that it could have been worded correctly. What a weak position. What a pussy position that shit is, bro. So your answer to the fact that every single plus size company basically uses slave labor and child labor is that our only option should be online thrifting. We can't buy from any actual brand. We should only online thrift. Here's the problem with that argument. I have tried online thrifting. Okay, I don't care about your anecdotal evidence. Um, if you are one of these people that will sit there and tell you that you're a bad person for buying at Nike, or you're a bad person for buying an iPhone, or you're a bad person because you bought something that was made by somebody maybe somewhere that maybe was 10 years old and had small fingers to put that thing together for a grand total of 32 cents, then suck me off, bro. What do you want? Okay. Everything is made by these people. Okay. For the most part, of course, there are some locally produ produced goods that you could buy, but you shouldn't feel morally superior for not buying those things. Sorry, morally superior for buying those things and not the other things. Fuck you. Okay. That's, it's, you're never going to win the argument. Thank you so much for those Indonesian kids. I don't have to tell you, bro. If these people that will try to like guilt trip you and not buying stuff, everybody's buying everything. We live in a capitalistic country and obviously, um, we're looking for the cheapest product for the best deal. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. So I'm on the side of this person. It's it, what do you mean? Online thrifting, dude? No, I'm buying my clothes from Sheen because it's like $3 for a shirt. Yes. It was made from some Uyghur child somewhere. Um, and they imbued the sweat and tears into my shirt. I love it. It's so great. It's so amazing. What do you want from me, dude? What, what, what am I supposed to do? Feel bad because I'm buying something that somebody made somewhere for like 32 cents or maybe slave labor. I do feel bad, but not enough. I don't feel bad enough to not buy the clothes. I have plus size people wear our clothes until they literally fall apart. Me too. Me too. I mean, I'm not plus size, but yeah, definitely until my clothes fall apart. We don't just like get rid of them to get rid of them. So that's why it's hard to find plus size items in thrifting, even online thrifting. So like I've been to online thrift shops that carry plus size items. I have very rarely seen items in sizes 24 and above. I'm a t size 26 on the bottom. And Damn. also very rarely have I seen things, if they do come in that size, which is already very rare, it is even rarer that I see something that I'm like, oh, that's really cute. I would buy that. I would actually wear that. So you're literally telling me that 
that's our only option. That's what we should stick with. I wouldn't say that's their only option, but they're just recommending that if you don't want to buy from a company like Sheen or another place like that, that has plus size clothing, then you should probably go here. Um, it's a valid reason or a valid place to go. I don't think that this person is saying this is the only place to go. I don't know why these people got to do all or nothing. They're just giving you an example. That's the solution. You can't tell me that you have never bought anything in a store ever. Like, you just can't tell me that. I'm kind of on board with this one, dude. This argument right here is so stupid, bro. If you feel bad, like, oh, yeah, feel bad because you bought something off Sheen or you bought something from Primark or you bought something from, like, Walmart or something like that because all that shit was, like, not produced locally, obviously. Go to Walmart and you're going to buy a PS5? Dude, that shit was probably made in, like... I don't know, the 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 coal the cobalt the cobalt mines in, in Indonesia or some shit like that, dude. You feel bad, you feel good that you're playing your new 2K and you, you fucking your hands are feeling so good on that controller. Guess what? The person that put that controller together died three times to make that controller. How do you feel about that? I'm like, hey, what do you want from me, bro? Suck me off, bro. It's a bad, it's a bad, it's a bad argument. You have a phone. I'm True. sure you probably have a computer. True. You probably have a house. True. Like, you can't tell me that you have only ever filled your house and your closet with thrifted items. Like... Most definitely true. Um, this is all, you know, a base take on this person. Base take here. Um, they get one. Everybody gets one, right? That's just... The moral superiority... I just don't... Like, it's so interesting to me how these people's brains shut off when like they'll have one good argument but for another argument which is basically the same thing uh they just don't see themselves like in any way like that last video she literally refused to take accountability for anything and here she actually has a good thing and she's like drawing the connections out how can she like draw these connections here but not there like what is the cognitive dissonance it's almost like her brain just shuts off completely that you are projecting in the comments about how like thrifting is the only way to live is just i think that these these comments are also too easy for her dude um i think that she needs to level up a little bit like you're out here commenting you're out here commenting on somebody else's comment on a video and you obviously know you're gonna win because it's a stupid argument but how about you get up here with the big dogs, you know? My, you know, my DMs are still open. I'm willing to talk to you a little bit, even though I don't like you, and you said a whole bunch of really bad stuff about me. I'm okay with talking about you. Let's do it. Let's 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 arrange something, dude. I think this is too easy for you. I think you gotta level up a little bit. Have an actual conversation. It's... I can't. I will say it a million times over until plus-size people have more access to things until we have more options we have more is quite ambiguous as well i don't even know what that means what do you mean by more like slightly more like one extra shirt more or like a million extra shirts more like what do you exactly want have to work within the system we are given <laughs> yes you are correct about that mighty murph and flash yes and you know the funny thing right is that we all have to work within the system that's already given. You do understand that working within the society, it's not like that shit was there, but you, you do realize that you didn't create that. You do understand that this shit was already pre-established. So when you sit there and you go, we have to work with what we already have, no fucking shit. No shit you have to work with what you already have. I'm sorry that you can't create everything from your imagination and then just have that shit be implemented into society. No, that's obviously not how it works. So yes, everything in general, you have to work with what's already there. You are welcome to leave my page. Ooh, that's a, just a jarring thing right there, dude. Ooh. I might block you. Ooh, damn. Tough, tough words, dude. Because the argument yeah guess what dude if you want to say something well you can't i'm gonna literally ban you for that it's just completely asinine to me true i already replied to this comment but i just wanted to expand upon it if you say stuff like this but you cannot offer please don't use them i get why it's easy option but sheen used child labor don't pay product proper don't pay properly and have inadequacy in what inadequacy safety measures and equally affordable alternative that is just as size inclusive because again like Shein expanded their size range true we support child labor only if 
it has something to do with plus size clothing. Obviously, obviously. It's such a stupid claim for this commenter. I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's dumb. It's stupid, bro. What do you mean don't use them, bro? Listen, if they got the product that I need and it's cheap and it's it's there, of course people are gonna buy it. To sit there and say don't do it because there are people that are, you know, not profiting from it. Yeah, dude, I understand, but like nobody's looking at that seriously. I think like two years ago, so they do go up to like a 32 or 34 or something like that. Damn. Then you cannot say stuff like this because again i mean they can say it just in the same way that you said that all you were saying what in the other video was that they could have said that correctly or better it's the same shit like i don't know why this person thinks i can say whatever i want even if it's factually incorrect but this person can't say what they want because i think it's incorrect we only have a handful of options especially a handful of options that go up past a 24 26. that's kind of big though huh that's big as fuck. so for you to come into the comment section and try to tell people like oh no this is bad don't do this don't do this unless you're going to offer a different option that will be equally affordable for people and equally size inclusive just saying this hey don't do that is not helpful to anyone i really love i really love that mighty murphy fash it's kind of like you have this ability to acknowledge when other people do this but for some reason you can't acknowledge when you do it as well that's literally like 80 percent of your videos on your channel is you just say shit and you don't give examples and then you don't preference it with anything and i'm just sitting here putting my hands up in the air like what the fuck do you mean by that like what does that even mean can you please go into that a little bit more can you please tell me what this means exactly and there's nothing there's no examples there's no nuance to anything she says and it's obvious even in this video she's done that exact thing when somebody called her out <coughs> on her bullshit she has no defense Fencing. there was no uh there was no example there was nothing there was no nothing to defend it was just literally well i can say whatever i want literally so i understand it's frustrating you do it to the same degree if not way more and i can actually point to examples because all you're doing is going hey you know those five options that you guys get don't do one of those true so let me make your options even less for you we know that our options are terrible we want more options which is part of why we talk about like how there needs to be more inclusivity so that we do have the option to be like hey i don't want to buy from this brand because i don't like their business practices but until we have more options we don't really have the ability to do that true Stri child labor hell yeah bro because we're fat great size people do because they get 8 million options. So of course they have the moral high ground to be like, yeah, I don't want to purchase from this brand because I don't like what they do. But until we have more than five options, we don't really get a choice. I don't like her. I don't, I've never liked that individual. And after they made that response video on me, I even liked them less because they're a terrible human being. I mean, no, let me stop. They may not be terrible, but they're also not good either. Um, I'm sure that they're I'm sure they have redeeming qualities, but they literally do the exact thing that they say that they don't do, and they do it so consistently as well. But regardless, um, you're beautiful today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, if you are here right now at the end of this video, um, I, leave it down below by typing in water. Because I've been watching you ingest the water. I've been watching you marinate yourself with that delicious liquidization, the H2O, the agua in your throat. Just feeling that, mm, just seeing your mouth moving, the throat going down when you suck down that sweet delicacy known as water. It is a delicacy. Um, not a lot of people have the access to water, at least not to the same degree that we do. So make sure you use advantage of it, okay? Don't take, don't look at it as like, this is just a normal thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's an amazing thing. Kind of like you. You're a beautiful and amazing thing. Anyway. We're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.